Alright, let's get right back <clears throat> on track with part two of my Durrell versus Ward thoughts and just simply thoughts on the boxers in general. Let's talk about Andre Green and Andre Durrell's competition thus far. Before the tournament, they before the tournament, Ward fought, I think, slightly better competition. Now, why I'm saying this is because there's a couple standouts that he fought, you know, which which are much better than people Darrell was facing. But as a whole, it's not that much different. Okay, Darrell hadn't grown up enough yet. Uh, Ward was looking the the more mature of the two from the jump in this tournament. But since the tournament has started, the the tougher road went to Darrell. I mean, I think Showtime was trying to buffer Ward and Kessler by giving them, you know, they fight each other, uh, they fight Taylor, you know, but it ended up being green. And, and I think I think Darrell has probably had the roughest road thus far in the tournament because you had to take a guy who, the only thing anybody ever said about him, and then again, this comes from my conversation with boxing knowledge, the only thing he really debated about in his fights was whether or not he was going to get knocked out or dropped. Now, he went up against the two heaviest hands in the tournament and survived, and, you know, again, you know my thoughts on the, on the Frotch Durrell fight. I think Durrell won. And uh, I definitely know he won the second one. So... I think the toughest road has went to Durrell, and he's had to cope and had to grow up. While I think Andre Ward is at a plateau right now, I think he's as good as he's going to get. Now, that's not a bad thing, because he is awesomely better than the two people he's faced so far, and they're Super 6 tournament members, whether or not, you know, Alan Green got here because of Jermaine Taylor's shadow of bullshit or not, but... You know, I think Kessler and Ward were set up to make it to the semifinals. Like, they were set up because they were going to have the first fight, which would probably be the toughest in the tournament for them. Um, the sleeping giant, <laughs> oh, Andre Ward, which, you know, got awoke in the Kessler fight. <coughs> or or the favorite to win, Michael Kessler. Now, they fought each other, and then they, they have easy roads after that. There's no easy fight for Darrell here. Frotch, Abraham... Ward, these are the, I think these are the, for him, these are the toughest things that could have happened, and I think his experience coming off of his past two fights is going to be much more effective than Ward's, because I think Ward fights two ways, even though he shows a lot of different faces of those ways, still, generally, in looking at the fight aesthetically, they're still familiar and still similar to each other, um, I think he's an inside fighter through and through. I think that's where he's probably most comfortable. But if 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 he's faster than you and and can move around you, he'll do what he did to Miranda or even you know Green. But you know I, I just have a little bit more respect for Darrell than I did. And and like I said, I didn't know either two, either one of these guys before this tournament started. But after going back and watching what I could and now seeing their performances in the tournament, I have a lot more respect for Darrell. Um, than I do for Ward, and it's not Ward's fault. It's just because of the fights I've seen Darrell in compared to Ward. Now, it's not Ward's fault he's dominated twice in a row. You're right, he's not. But, like I said, he's kind of plateauing. I'm not seeing him getting any better against, you know, because Green was crap competition, let's face it. I, Kessler's going to tear that guy up. Green was crap competition. It's bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> I mean, shit. I, I just, uh... I'm, okay, I'm, I'm picking Darrell to win by a close decision, and I don't think the hometown shit is going to matter. If Ward wins, you know, if I if I see that Ward wins and, and he gets the decision, even though even if it's close, if it's close, I'm not going to scream hometown shit unless some of the scorecards are horrible. Now, that could happen. It's it's happened in this tournament a lot, or well, yeah, a lot compared to the amount of fights that's happened so far. It's been, you know. Too much of a percentage of bad scorecards, but they're both American. Um, of course, this, if this fight could happen on neutral ground, I'd be much more confident in my pick. But I think Darrell's offense. You know, when you're going to say who won this round, even if they both hit each other the same, I think Darrell's offense is just so much more flamboyant, noticeable, explosive, maybe exciting 
that it's going to stir those points in his way, whether it's uh, in Oakland or not. Uh, I think I think Darrell's the more flashy fighter, and, and Ward's the more technical, you know, boxing school type of fighter. Uh, and and I'll go back to Roy Jones Jr. versus Hopkins one. This is this is kind of, this is a really similar. If you really look at the similarities between this fight coming up and that fight then, I, th I think you're going to find a lot. Okay, and the way they fight, the way they handle themselves, and and just you know, overall the way the fight goes, I think there's going to be a good ebb and flow. It's going to go back and forth then, and I think Darrell's physical attributes are going to win him this fight. I don't think Ward's boxing IQ is going to save him. I think Ward's boxing IQ is what's going to keep this fight tight. But all that wrapping up and shit that he does, to, um, that he did to Kessler and that he did to Green and stuff, all that, all that little sneaky and and tricky stuff and stuff that you don't normally see out of fighters like this, young up and comers. He's like, I don't think you can consider either one of them an up and comer anymore, can you? No, they're here. I mean, they're here. I think this is going to be this is going to be Darrell's takeoff point. You know, he had that one shady loss, and I think he caps it with uh, uh, beating the now favorite of the tournament, Andre Ward. And, you know, like I said, I, I welcome, I welcome the arguments because it's still a ways away, and, and there's a lot to talk about. I think there's a lot more to talk about than even what I've said so far. So, you know my thoughts. Um, they're a little scattered at times, so hit me up with a video response, and definitely check me out in the comments page. Man, I get back to damn near everybody. So if you want to, you know, want want to talk about this stuff, want to bullshit about it, you know, I'm here, man. I check my comments all the time, man. I'm here. So let me know what you think. Uh, that's my thoughts on both fighters, and I'm picking Darrell to win by a, um, I'm gonna say unanimous decision, very close but clear to Darrell against Andre Ward. <sighs> Some other stuff in boxing I gotta catch up with today, and I'm gonna do that while I got the girls way back there. And, watching movies and having quiet time and shit where they won't be out here or I won't be bothering them with my cigarettes or anything. But the moment they come out here I gotta stop making videos and go outside to smoke. <sighs>